Okay, so first we have the Shadow Fall series by C.C. Hunter and the first book, Born at Midnight, Awake at Dawn, Taken at Dusk, Whispers at Moonrise, and Chosen at Nightfall. Then we have the first book in the spin-off series, Reborn, Pretty Girl 13 by Liz Coley, Forgive Me, Leonard Peacock by Matthew Quick, Half Bad by Sally Green, The Cure for Dreaming by Cat Winters, In the Shadow of Blackbirds, also by Cat Winters, Blithwood by Carol Goodman, The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski. Then we have the Lunar Chronicles, starting with Cinder, and I don't actually own Scarlet, so we're just gonna skip right on to Cress, then Winter, and finally the short novella, Fairest, all by Marissa Meyer. Then we have the Hunger Games trilogy, which I have actually finished now, yes. So first, obviously, Hunger Games, then Catching Fire, Mockingjay. Then we have The Archive by Victoria Schwab, Divergent series by Veronica Roth. That is, should not be there. That is the last book. What am I doing with my life? I am so sorry. Okay, Insurgent and Allegiant need to be swapped, and then I have four. But wow, okay, my bad. The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. Strange Sweet Song by Addie Rule. Okay, on to the next shelf down. Harry Potter. I have a wand. It's freaking magic. Woo. And it's Hermione's wand, of course. Then I have this little bottle, you know, magic-y stuff, and my Harry Potter Funko Pop. Then I obviously have the illustrated edition of the Philosopher's Stone. So first we have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the Chamber of Secrets, the Prisoner of Azkaban, uh, no. the Goblet of Fire, the Order of the Phoenix, the Half-Blood Prince, and the Deathly Hallows. Then we have Harry, a history by Melissa Anelli. Quidditch Throughout the Ages, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and The Tales of Beetle the Bard. So then I have my Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, starting with The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian, The Circle, written by Mats Strandberg and Sarah B. Elfgren, The Merciless by Danielle Vega, Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, Fangirl also by Rainbow Rowell. Moving on to the next shelf, I have a really cool pin. First we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, Hollow City, and Library of Souls, hexed by Michelle Chris. And look at this beautiful American hardcover edition. So nice. The Darkest Minds series written by Alexandra Bracken, Never Fade in the Afterlight, Splintered and Unhinged by A. G. Howard. Then we have the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls and City of Heavenly Fire. The Infernal Devices, starting with Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess. The Bane Chronicles, and lastly, the Shadowhunters Codex, which is just beautiful. Such nice drawings. Next shelf, I have a Tomorrowland pin. Then we have a Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Days of Blood and Starlight by Lainey Taylor, The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson, The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black, These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, Life and Death, The Retelling of Twilight by Stephanie Meyer, Official Illustrated Twilight Guide, Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, and Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Meyer, The Iron Trial, and The Copper Gauntlet by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare, The Sword of Summer, Magnus Chase Book One by Rick Riordan, with a really annoying sticker on it, oh my god. The Heroes of Olympus series, also by Rick Riordan, and I have like a weird number of them, I have one, three, and five, so yeah. Winter Spell by Claire Legrand. Cruel Beauty by Rosamond Hodge. The Glass Arrow by Kirsten Simmons. Destined for Dune by Carrie Corp and Lori Langdon. Shades of Dune. Next shelf. So first we have the Monstromologist series by Rick Yancey, then The Curse of the Wendigo. Then we have Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendar Blake, as well as the companion novel Girl of Nightmares. Then we have The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, and The Evolution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, and Between the Spark and the Burn by April Genevieve Tisholk. Then we have Somper. Sempre, I don't know, and Sempre Redemption by J.M. Darhauer. Oh man, 
Then we have White Heart Kiss by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson. Velvet by Temple West. Legend by Marie Lu. Midwinter Blood by Marcus Sedgwick. The Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. Two, Frostbite. And book three, Shadow Kiss. But look at this freaking different cover. Oh, it's so terrible. The other ones, it doesn't match. And it's just like, why? Next, we have Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson, as well as The Well of Ascension. Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. The Girl Who Never Was by Skylar Dorset. Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, The Night Gardener by Jonathan Oxier, Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Then we have Shatter Me and Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi. Next shelf. Okay, so now we have the big bind-ups of the Lux series. So we have the first book, which contains Obsidian and Onyx. Then the second bind-up, which contains Opal and Origin. And finally, Opposition. Then we have a bind-up of the Trill series by Amanda Hawking, which includes Switched, Torn, and Ascend. Then we have the Night World bind-ups, which have the first book, which includes Secret Vampire, Daughters of Darkness, and Spellbinder. Bind-up two, which includes Dark Angel, The Chosen, and Soulmate. And book three, which includes Huntress, Black Dawn, and Witchlight all by L.J. Smith. Okay, so next we have the bind-ups for the Sweep series by Kate Tiernan. I'm just gonna read them all out because there are 15 books. So they are as follows, Book of Shadows, The Coven, Blood Witch, Dark Magic, Awakening, Spellbound, The Calling, Changeling, Strife, Seeker, Origins, Eclipse, Reckoning, Full Circle, and Knight's Child. Then we have Marked, Betrayed, Chosen, and Untamed by PC and Kirsten Cast. Then we have the first two books in the Iron Face series by Julie Kagawa, which include The Iron King and The Iron Daughter, The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa, The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman, Gone Girl by Jillian Flynn, Wings, Illusions, Spells, and Destined by April Lynn Pike, The Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepard, and Across the Universe by Beth Revis. Okay, on to the next entire bookshelf. First, we have The West Beyond the West by Jean Barman, An Astronaut's Guide to Life on Earth by Chris Hadfield, Dark Places by Gillian Flynn, The Darkest Powers Trilogy by Kelly Armstrong, which includes The Summoning, The Awakening, and The Reckoning, Under the Dome by Stephen King, Carrie by Stephen King, The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon, The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, The Blood Gospel by James Rollins, The Forest by Edward Rutherford, Violin by Anne Rice, This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle, Then Omens and Visions by Kelly Armstrong, Doctor Sleep by Stephen King. Moving down, we have some delightful trinkets, trusty TARDIS, of course, and then just some shells that I've inherited. Black Ice by Becca Fitzpatrick. It was really bad. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. Stories for Late at Night by Alfred Hitchcock. Need by Carrie Jones. Lies Beneath and Deep Betrayal by Anne Greenwood Brown. Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Of Poseidon and Of Triton by Anna Banks, The Good Girl by Mary Kubica, Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell by Susanna Clark, Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. Then we have the series of Unfortunate Events, Book 1, The Bad Beginning, Book 2, The Reptile Room, Book 3, The Wide Window, Book 6, The Ersatz Elevator, Book 8, The Hostile Hospital, Book 9, The Carnivorous Carnival, Book 13, The End. Then we just have this delightful trinket shelf. There's my Labyrinth book, novelization, beautiful drawings, I'm a super big fan, of course got my DVD. And then I have my Fushigi ball, which is the ball that David Bowie uses in the movie, and obviously I suck. Then I have my little known facts and well known places at Disneyland, like, I'm super obsessed with Disney stuff, so you know how it is. Next shelf, The Rosie Project by Graham Simpson. A Tale of Two Cities and Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. A Discovery of Witches and a Shadow of Night by Deborah Harkness, Bloodsucking Fiends by Christopher Moore, The Warrior Heir by Cinda Williams Chima, Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion, The Pledge by Kimberly Durting, Lost Voices by Sarah Porter, Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr, The Dark Heroine and Autumn Rose by Abigail Gibbs, Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson, A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray, the Fairy Path, The Lost Queen, and The Seventh Daughter by Freewin Jones. Stolen by Lucy Christopher. Dracula, My Love by Cyrie James. Shadows by Paula Weston. Lament 
by Maggie Stiefvater. Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. The Selection by Kira Cass. The Book of Ivy by Amy Engel. Evernight by Claudia Gray. World's Worst Crimes and A to Z of Evil Deeds by Charlotte Greek. Lavender Village by Anne Graham Beale and The Mists of Afar. Time Won't Tell by Sue Douglas. Dark Secrets 1 by Elizabeth Chandler, which includes Legacy of Lies and Don't Tell. Duma Key by Stephen King. Tithe, Valiant, and Ironside by Holly Black. Alien, a novel by Alan Dean Foster. Dracula in London, edited by P. N. Elrod. Secrets in the Attic by V. C. Andrews. Joyland by Stephen King. Sabriel by Garth Nix. Vlad, The Last Confession by C. C. Humphreys. False Light by Carolyn Llewellyn. The Witching Hour by Anne Rice. Everything's Eventual, 14 Dark Tales by Stephen King. Salem's Lot by Stephen King. The Princess Bride by William Goldman. On to my bottom shelf is just a bunch of reference novels and textbooks and random crap, so I'm not gonna go through it, but here's a peek. Okay, onto my next bookshelf. We have Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, and A Feast for Crows by George R. R. Martin, Doppler by Erland Lowe, Jurassic Park by Michael Crichton, The Hobbit by J. R. R. Tolkien, and a full bind-up of The Lord of the Rings, Except the Dying, and Under the Dragon's Tail, Murdoch Mysteries by Maureen Jennings, Kingdom Keepers, Disney After Dark, and Disney at Dawn by Ridley Pearson, Rosemary's Baby by Ira Levin, Mr. Penumbra's 24-hour bookstore, Store by Robin Sloan. The Alphabet of Manliness by Maddox. Shadow Life by Barry Denenberg. The Giver by Lois Lowry. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. Juliet by Anne Fortier. Dracula by Bram Stoker. The Diviners by Libba Bray. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. On to the next shelf. Shadow Castle by Marion Cockrell. Dr. Faustus by Christopher Marlowe. The Berlin Blues by Drew Hayden Taylor. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. Halfbreed by Maria Campbell, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson, We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson, Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt, The Jungle Books by Rudyard Kipling, The Water Babies by Charles Kingsley, 1984 by George Orwell, An Animal Farm by George Orwell, King Arthur by Roger Lancelin Green, Watership Down by Richard Adams, Tarzan of the Apes by Edgar Rice Burroughs, The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells, The Tempest by Shakespeare, Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, The Princess and the Goblin by George MacDonald. Then it's just a bunch of writing books and I'm not gonna get into that, but yeah. Next shelf, tarot card stuff, Titania's fortune cards, The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady by Edith Holden, The Ultimate Fairy's Handbook by Susanna Marriott, Beyond the Deep Woods, The Edge Chronicles by Paul Stewart and Chris Riddell, The Alchemist by Michael Scott, Ink Spell by Cornelia Funk, Ingo by Helen Dunmore, Emily Winsnap and the Monster from the Deep, by Liz Kessler, Necropolis, London and It's Dead by Katherine Arnold, Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky, Lady of the Forest by Jennifer Robertson, Perfume by Patrick Suskind, Interview with the Vampire and the Vampire Lestat by Anne Rice, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams, Thinner by Stephen King aka Richard Bachman, The Princess Bride by William Goldman, First Edition, Super Proud, Tales of the Cthulhu Mythos by H.P. Lovecraft, The Halloween Tree by Ray Bradbury, The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman, Monk Beach by Eden Robinson. Arcane by Sever Brawny. Archer, the ultimate guide to espionage and style and women and also cocktails ever written by Sterling Archer. If I Stay by Gail Foreman. And finally, Horrible Histories, Dark Nights and Dingy Castles by Terry Deary. All right, well, those are all of the books that I own. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about any of the books that I have, whether I've read them or whether I haven't read them or anything like that. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Sarah and I will see you guys later.